Dan the Wolfman here, and welcome to my second MMA versus Sistema sparring video. This is my Better Sistema versus MMA Harder Real Sparring 2. Plus, it's me using Sistema in my own style karate go jujitsu. You see there Vladimir Vasiliev. He was a champ in boxing and karate before uh, getting into Spetsnaz and Sistema. And George S. Pogosic. George S. Pogosic. He did JKD, Wing Chun, Kali, Silat, BJJ, and boxing sparring versus boxers at Detroit Kronk Gym before those two became Sistema Masters. Subscribe to their YouTube pages. Guys, you will see me uh, fighting some very good Japanese MMA fighters, a uh, champion of a smaller JMMA org known for his judo and grappling. And you also see me versus a, uh, another pro fighter, very experienced, who fought in a bigger uh, Asian MMA organization many times. He fought for their title and he is known for very good boxing. I don't really want to say their names. I'm putting this out two and a half years later uh, after I took this footage that I had forgotten about. And this was during my 40th birthday week. See their double, I think that's the Suki double mountain punch there. I think that's called Suki if I remember correctly. See my upper bop punch there. This is versus the uh, Judoka grappler more. And try and learn from what I am incorporating in Sistema. You see that vertical straight punch? You never saw that because it came from underneath his peripheral vision. You'll see me line that, I think, a couple other times in this video. Uh, really also psychologically gets to him that I'm hitting him and he's never seen it, including that little bop hook at the end there. And now this is the first round, including that outside crescent kick there. How many times do you see an outside crescent kick landed in uh, MMA spot? Uh, guys, these are uh, a bit smaller than me. Uh, two years earlier, when I have a lot of sparring footage at this gym, you might recognize that the color scheme was different, different owner. Um, it was known as the big guy fight gym, and I guess I had changed when I showed up there. So I sat out a few rounds, but I get a few good rounds here, though. You saw in his karate blitz there at the end there with a lot of kicks and punches, but not telegraphic, not winding up, that vertical punch there. Coming up from underneath. Important concepts, guys. To try and learn how I'm putting systemic concepts in here and giving pros difficult times, real, real good. This is a very good pro here. If you see him versus other people, uh, his boxing messes a lot of people up. Even me, so, even me a bit two years earlier. Uh, double Suki punch. I should have looked that up first. I hope that's what it's called, Suki Mountain Punch. Um, but my distance control, my playing with this perception is messing with him. I'm landing head kicks here. And he punches from odd angles, non-telegraphic. You see him fight and spar other pros, guys, and I do have footage of that. And a lot of, you know, a very fight veteran over 20 fights in a, in a bigger org. He, he messes people up. But I'm doing okay here because I'm being non-traditional, because I'm hitting at odd angles. You see me hit twice with the same arm there. You'll see that often in this. Multiple strikes from the same hand, from the same arm. It could be hand to elbow to back hammer fist. We've seen that in some MMA fights. I remember working UFC on Fox 4 as media. Machida and uh, uh, is it Borg, another guy. Uh, did that to finish their fights, or, or did that in their fights. Multiple hits from the same arm. Um, oh, he got me really good there, so I included that. Hitting outside his profile, I hit him a little too hard at the end there. That's why he said he put my hand up. We saw Arlovsky. Uh, what was that awesome fight? Uh, one round heavyweight fight. Was that Arlovsky with the big overhand right, missed it, and came back with the hammer fist to knock down? Was, it, was that versus Travis? That might have been versus... There's Mr. Rousey, I'm not sure. And um, I put this little order out of order, guys. I started with the heavy big gloves, and now switching to see more subtle things to smaller gloves, and then we'll go back. So it's a little bit out of order. This was actually like my fifth round sparring, I think. Um, those were the first two earlier. But for anyone not seeing some, some of the utilities are going well I don't know if that's Sistema. Sistema or my style credit good jiu-jitsu hit the good grappler with the lateral drop there try to get him with the chest compression and uh boy he's a good grappler able to 
screw the ships back there and get back up. See, multiple hits, same army, guys. You know, guys, George and Vladimir, they had, had you know, sparring competitive and, and, and backgrounds before going to Sistema. I think that's important. In fact, I think any style, oh, see, I really nailed him with the vertical punch there. That, that psychologically messed him up. He didn't see it. It was from underneath him. Actually, his nose starts breathing. Notice he goes up in that minute. Um, so uh, that's something I, I wanted to work on. So this in the first round we saw, guys, um, I tried listening to George give me some instructions over Facebook to not give so much distance. I had relied, and I'm still like pretty darn fast for the short spot guy that I am, looking like SpongeBob. But I always use like karate blitz in and out footwork, attack by drawing, things of that nature. So a little bit of this is here is me trying to use less movement. Uh, especially because I knew, okay, I just hit 40 as I get older and, and more ill. I, you know, would have to be more efficient with my energy. Here on an outside single, I eventually managed to defend and uh, kickstart, get my leg back down. Wait for the timing to give him that shove off. You know, that could have been a real throat shove with more energy. So that uppercut messed him up again, popping him on the nose again. And yes, I'm bigger than these guys. This is just the, the day sparring. Um, this is footage I'd forgotten about. Again, this is my second video on real MMA versus Stemma sparring, guys. So please check out the first one. It seems it's really liked. And then I happen to remember I put this footage out there. And look, how many times have you seen seven or eight a cup hand blows to the top of the head? Well, it's actually quite discombobulating. I put that in a video back in 2012 on... Uh, on my Ukrainian rolling champion friend that you see that in, in some of my Wolfman combatives or in my hard hit, how to hit hard video, you see that here, give me a cup on the head while well, there I just landed in sparring years later in multiple times. See that, the karate chops in this video. Uh, guys, that, that stuff kind of messes it up. You guys, I wanted to point out that just like a lot of martial arts, just like BJJ when I started in 97, Sistema I think was quite a bit harder back in the, the, the 90s, mid to late 90s. You know, I, I think there was a lot of tougher big Russian guys from Sambo backgrounds and wrestling champion backgrounds and things of that nature. And I think those guys were popping each other a little bit harder. Just like today, BJJ is a bit more slow roll water down. And when I started, it was like, be ready for a dojo storm at any moment, ready to throw down, do the Gracie Challenge. Um, so just kind of some thoughts. I think you'll understand kind of some of the things I'm saying. I think pressure testing or sparring and any stuff. Just like my my real Aikido, finally real Aikido video. Why can I do Sistema and Aikido, but maybe other people can't? You know, from my alive on the main grappling background, plus my bouncing experience, my, my real versus multiple opponents and weapons experience. Uh, there you see I'm trying to get a 10-finger guillotine. Try to get it standing by driving into the wall. Couldn't quite get it here on the ground. Now, um, I think I put it on in a second. Guys, look at me trying to use less movement at times. Distance control. Playing with their perception. Playing with their perception of distance. And hypnotizing them with some of my odd movement. Uh, non telegraph on odd angled strikes. A lot of my strikes come hidden outside the peripheral vision or from down to up outside the peripheral vision. If you don't notice, all these kind of upper bops, upper cuts, um, rising vertical punches I'm hitting him with, they're really giving this guy some fits. And again, he's, he's a champion, a smaller ward, but I was told he was a, a champion. And he threw me, uh, I, I wanted to make highlights, guys. I would have no problem sharing the full videos. He did throw me a couple times, uh, Morteza Garuma. So obviously pretty good judo guy set it up with like a Ko, Koichi Gari to his Garuma one time and um, got me with the outside leg trip that I shouldn't have gotten taken down with at one point. Um, again, because I'm kind of focusing on trying to use more systemic concepts and more a, defining what my karate go jitsu style would be at this time. I was thinking a lot more about like a keto systema. Hey, there was a Wing Chun. Uh, JKD street plus there, chain punching there. 
little flying switch kick lands. Back to the big gloves. Inside kick, punches. Now I'm trying not to hit this guy too much um, because I can obviously tell he's more comfortable as a grappler at this point in the than uh, you know, a striker MMA fighter, even though he was you know, experienced and a champion. Um, but, you know, obviously I'm bigger. Again, I didn't expect that when I got there. Uh, the, 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 the new owner who knew me from two years ago. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I used to be a good guy. So it's changed now and new ownership and different color scheme mats. Guys, if you want to see me versus bigger guys, damn the Wolfman versus... Oh! Double Mountain Punch totally landed and destroyed him. I want to play that one back. Uh, I think that's the only time I've seen my hands successfully in any kind of full contact sparring, real sparring at all. It, it, it seemed to mess him up pretty good. See, because I'm not really telegraphing, loading my punches, guys. You can just boost movement a little. A little hypnotizing him here, which is also messing with his depth perception with his uh, relationships of distance uh, affecting him psychologically a bit I see him get a great takedown here but I continue this because it's kind of like I use some systemic hitting from my back in a second you want to call it my own style fine karate go jiu jitsu karate judo jiu jitsu Dabs of Akito and Sistema and other things thrown in. Now you see, I concluded this because uh, about a minute later he's cranking on my arm. And I just wanted to show how the relaxation makes me very difficult to block. Even from very good black belts, guys. I'm very good at defending my arms from side now. Uh, I currently train Jiu Jitsu once a week with a, a second degree very good black belt. You know, and it's even hard, it's, it's, it's hard for him to get inside now, or even if you get some like, in the crucifix to, 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 um, to lock me. That's something I get from Sistema and things like Tai Chi and, and Wing Chun, Chi Sao and, and, and Kali and JKD and Wing Chun trapping hands. I mean, there's TMA stuff that you can apply. Martial arts, movement, is movement. So hopefully you enjoy this and, and watch it back now to some smaller glove training. This starts up here with... Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. I said, come on, young boy, and then the other guy repeated it and laughed. I don't even know if they knew that term. In the 90s, young young boy was kind of a uchideshi type um, term for the, the young boys of the, the pancreas fighter gym, the, the early JMMA fighter gyms and whatnot. I don't know if it still is or not. Uh, but anyway, you saw like, a couple of guys got a laugh on it. Uh, that, you know, they obviously want me to work with this kid. Like that. So you see, I'm kind of teaching here at the end here. I'm working on some specific things. Um, later, you'll see me kind of where I get hit because I'm really only working on using one hand at times. And things of that nature. But I, I'm also trying to teach him and get some coaching tips. Um, we'll see if I can leave that audio in or not. Or not or if it's too distracting having to fight audio over the narration audio. Um, but I give I give I give him and I give um, guy um, some good tips. On vision, keeping their eyes open, and um, keeping their spine strong, spine um, structure, strong structure. So so think of that while you watch this guys. Hit an outside vision, strong spine and delivery system, about structure and breaking structure, multiple hits from the arm, uh, biomechanics and breathing, again, you know, breaking structure with biomechanics, take down defense with biomechanics. Speaking of which, guys, again, if you want more on Sistema, subscribe to um, George S. Pogosic and George Pogosic. He has a couple different YouTube pages uh, on Sistema Vasiliev. Maybe, yeah, I could have choked him there, but you want to see how I wanted to kind of work on getting our corner grab and stuff and the hits, multiple hits, one hand again. Um, watch my videos, MMA vs. Sistema Real Sparring, the first one. MMA vs. Sistema Real Sparring. If you want to see more like applications of what Sistema was kind of made for, you know, real world, jack attacks, uh, violent attacks. Uh, coming from weird angles around corners, hidden behind corners, things of that nature. 
Um, look at my Ultimate Sistema and Wolfman Combatives video. That's long because I can a lot of great stuff in there, including uh, my breaking structure highlights, my instinctive reactions versus completely random attacks. Highlights are at the end of that. So Ultimate Sistema and Wolfman Combatives video. Uh, you're going to want to watch my Learn Hit Hard True Power Russian Punch video. Learn Hit Hard True Power Russian Punch. Um, I used in UFC my amazing anti-cage tactics. Used in UFC my amazing anti-cage tactics. My Dustin vs. Khabib distracting hands and hand hands first biomechanics takedown defense. So you see, guys, I apply concepts from all martial arts here and how to adapt them specifically to MMA and also for military uh, and law enforcement. Doing um, you know, wound clearing or house entries. I might get pinned against the wall, get the AR pinned against or AK pinned against your chest. Things of that nature, guys. You're going to want to watch those other videos I, I have. Maybe I'll compile more systemic focus, more systemic concepts type playlist. So hopefully you guys will enjoy uh, listening to this. We've got a few more minutes of this, and then I break into um, um, some flow grappling. Uh, we go back to a couple of minutes with the, uh, uh, the Japanese champion. So, you know, that's a better fight. And this guy, kid, obviously, is scared of me. Uh, hit me. He, he hit me trying to coach him on. Trying to get him out of the prison. I'm going to do some change break. quiet for a minute in case I'm able to leave the volume. Pullbacks, cross gonna mix in some some things. The same hand again. Long talks outside the peripheral vision. Didn't we see you go over up Chanchin and Fiddler Man and Ankle Duel? The MMA heavyweight world and pride. There was Igor, Puff Chanchin, and then Fedor Melina. Weren't they doing loose, whippy strikes? You might want to pay attention to that. Punching 30 degrees outside the peripheral vision and then whipping the knuckles in. <laughs> Trying to teach the guys here that he picks his shots. It's true, he picks his shots. I can pick my shots. He picks, he picks his shots. He sees. Open eye. And he comes up, he goes, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Trying this guy, he shows you up too much, he blinds himself. Use the cover head. He's open head kick. I could him in the head right. You open the head kick and you come down. You, 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 you go down too much. Many times. That's why his knee is dangerous. He can knee you a lot. And I can... So I'm not planning to keep stronger spine structure. For real. You keep your chin down your body is more off. Have good vision. Well, maybe here better than here. Here, you're open. And kick. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Here, okay, maybe. Because you like it, it wasn't. But not a little bit strong. So I'll start sparring and get him in. Strong, strong, strong. Judo, strong. You might have to do it. Not judo. No fighting. Even a little bit of coaching here and there. When yeah, I Be because you're not as comfortable with striking. Remember, I'm 40 years old. But when Ando fights, he's, he's probably one of the best boxers in, in Japan. He watches, he sees. Bop, 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 bop. He's a better boxer than I am. He's a better boxer than I am. So now we'll start sparring him again. Hopefully, you could have heard some of my coaching. I'm not sure if he got that in or not. Keeping his vision up and his, his lower back a little bit stronger now. And uh, I'd be interested to know if that helped him out in MMA, in his striking, uh, 
center instead of just looking for the takedown of the over there. Become more visually aware of mind familiarization, seeing the punches coming, and then that would help his entries out because take takedowns even better. So he gets me to his green over. It's actually, I think, the second time he does that. I didn't pick up the earlier one that would have no time doing it, but I just tried to put up highlights because you see the amount of video in the days. You stuck with me thus far, guys. Thanks. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up. Please watch all the other videos I listed. Subscribe to Vladimir Celia's YouTube page, System of Celia, George S. Pogosic, George Pogosic. George is amazing. George has crazy power and uh, precision. He can hold his center and just come to him. You get in the zone, if you're not going to do that, you I don't know how else to say it. George is 52, I'm 42. George has been training in martial arts 10 years longer than me. So you see, I'm not really trying to get the guy now, but I'm giving him enough for him to start seeing. And seeing it just would have hit me twice there. You know? Punching with me. And multiple backhanders there. Um, we're going harder sparring, guys. Yeah, I, I can actually get a good pop out of that, even from a couple inches. <laughs> it frustrates the heck out of people. I think I had a vertical punch in his chest. Try it down low. And my cycling with movement in my hands there. And get him with that second uppercut there to his nose again. Frustrating him. Try some. Off loss, system style backhand. Obviously, you can, if you watch my hard hit video, my hit hard true power video, you can see, guys, I can hit really, really hard. Whether it's from far away with the whip or whether it's, you know, three inches away. So I land seven karate chops to his neck right there. Where do you see that? And then I'm at Stay tuned, guys, because I do some interesting submissions like getting the grappling in a minute. Look, look, I just fenced him with one arm. I just got through him and could have hit him. So I did some, that was one arm fencing there, guys. And nailed him with that, that vertical punch. Vertical is rising, vertical punch, karate punch, if you will, from underneath. Better, better Guys, I think any, any, I said it earlier, any and all styles should have some kind of pressure testing or sparring. Anyone could do that light sparring we did at the end, the very end here. But then the end, anyone could do that. Now I switched to grappling here. I hit that rolling um, double wrist lock Kimura throw. Double wrist lock grip, switching off to the Jujikatami arm bar here. I include this guy because I, I kind of, my movement's softer, and you see I'm doing a lot of striking from bottom. That's something a lot of MMA guys could learn better from. They don't strike good off their back. And, yes, that could be palm strikes to their ears, karate chops to their neck and ribs, uh, elbows to their thighs. I don't know. I do some crazy thing, and now I get a crazy kind of toehold corkscrew lock, like an underneath toehold. I think corkscrew locks a decent term for that. Trying to let the kid go, and I'm going to keep telling him to hit me, and he's so scared to hit me. You know, but that's good for him to spar a big guy. That, you know, I can't help being big guys, and especially if a lot of my time has been training in Asia. A lot of my other sparring in that very gym was with top, top, you know, big fighters like Yushin Okami and Akiyama and heavyweight fighters. So I got the Dan the Wolfman versus 30 top UFC MMA fighters. 11 of the 30 actually fought in the UFC. Um, the rest were JMMA champions. Dan the Wolfman versus 30 UFC MMA fighters. Uh, Dan the Wolfman versus top Japanese fighters. Not seen a lot, but that's like the full and edited footage going with a lot of the Japanese fighters, some of which I didn't really put in the other video. Um, but still fought in big organizations like IGF and things like that. Uh, I think I just took him out with a triangle choke noogie there. I can noogie really hard. And yes, you can use your wrist to hit hard with woodpecker type hits on the ground, guys. Really annoying with your four knuckles. Even with MMA gloves on, those bottom knuckles aren't in the gloves. You can wrap on people's faces and heads. 
people don't think about that. It it when you learn how to hit, you can actually generate enough power to make people not like it and move and stuff. Slaps, long hooks here. I can really, I mean, even from bottom half guard guys, bottom side mount, I can generate a lot of power with my wraparound punches, I used to call them. Um, even my fight versus Jeremy Horney, I mean, pinned and clinched, uh, controlled in the corner at the end of the first round. And I think I hit him with like five or seven wraparound punches to the ear, the far ear, all the way behind the back, behind, all the way around his head. And you hear the, the commentators like, oh, that can't feel good. Hit him with sweep so I get back on top. This isn't a big deal, guys. It's just for the people watching this that are like um, Sistema people or Ivzor people that are going to watch this, uh, you know, um, to kind of see some of my grappling, too. If you want to see my grappling, I got 10 grappling highlights around the world, many of which with pro fighters going harder with better fighters and some judo guys and sambo guys and combat wrestling champion and jiu-jitsu guys and uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of name pro fighters tapping about with rare submissions and stuff. Trying to get them with the arm triangle from bottom is very hard. If you throw the lockdown scorpion lock in there, it is possible sometimes. But you see I'm whipping them up. Sometimes you can sweep to get on top. He survived that long. I didn't just want to tap him with power, so I let it go. And back to hitting kid, trying to teach him how to use strikes in with the grappling. Even a lot of MMA fighters still not very good at that. They're, I mean, they're okay. Some are okay on top of ground and pound. Like hitting from bottom, they're, they're not very good at. Being relaxed on bottom. Yes, jujitsu people, MMA fighters could, can learn that. I let a lot of people side mount me. Yeah, not going to finish me from side mount. Even if knees were involved, because that's how I first started training. It was Valley Tudo days. Some of my fights, knees and kicks to the head on the ground were allowed. You see, even later, this kid tries to give me some knees, and uh, I just do a frame block of his hip where the knee, you know, wouldn't hit me. Okay, so look, I rolled him over there by hooking around the head, and now I got him in the howdy choke position, and tickle choke, tickle the, the intercostal muscles, gets them to post that foot into the cobra katami accordion stretch. Cobra katami accordion stretch right there. I have another video, a couple other videos doing that to other people. The funniest submission in all of the grappling and jujitsu. And I'm doing it because he's a young boy. You know, yeah, I, I know I'm a big guy. I, I could tell that, you know, the guy's a funny guy there that is now the owner of the gym or the head, I guess, fighter of the gym. Guys, I could tell he kind of wanted me to, you know, I'm working this kid, but I'm also teaching him things at the same time. You know, I'm not hurting him. And since I'm in Japan, I decide to go for a rare Japanese necktie. I got short arms, not something I, you know, I've hit a lot, but a few times. Now you see me going from side mount, guys. Again, this is important. Whenever you're training, especially if you're higher level than the person, put yourself in bad positions. I pull side mount a lot. I pull bottom half guard, you know, a lot. Occasionally, like, my back or mounted, though an actual, like, if I'm really trying, I don't try to give, you know, I, I don't give mount or back like I do, you know, side control sometimes. Because side control, I'm usually waiting for their base to be off, Kazushi, and, and, and just brace them off, or use biomechanics, hip crease, or other, other things. Again, guys, check out my MMA vs. Systema Real Sparring, the first video, Ultimate Systema vs. Wolf, Wolfman Combatives video. Learn hit hard, true power, rush and punch. Um, see me blocking the, the knees there. Um, hit hard, true power, rush and punch. Used in UFC, my amazing anti-cage tactics. Got some good footage in there, some old footage going against a lifelong wrestler. Doing throat shoves and head twists uh, against a cage at High Stun Grappling Academy. Coker's uh, gym. You guys are not familiar with me. I got four pretty coveted black bolts. Go to my website, thecombatsystem.com, thecombatsystem.com. You want some cool looking stuff? Haven't seen a lot in videos, movies before, guys. I'm a SAG actor and stuntman. Could definitely do some fight choreography for you. If you saw the clips in the beginning of the video, you might want to replay that. You saw that inside um, knife stab defense to the throat chop. 
that was used at the end of John Wick 2 on the subway. And then you see me kneeling down against the smaller Asian and using Sistema to take him down and control him and fold his arm around. That's almost shot versus shot exact to the uh, end of John Wick 3 versus the, you know, the famous uh, Indo two Indonesian guys from the raid. Might want to look at my fight like John Wick video. That's very popular. 30 minutes with like the coolest martial art techniques and and submissions and applied Sistema and it's applied to keto that you'll ever see. And my real keto, keto video, guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.